Hello, beautiful homemakers. Welcome or welcome back to our new exclusive YouTube podcast, Habits of a Feminine Homemaker. Ladies, if you did not catch our first episode, please do so by clicking the link in the description box or watching my last video where I focused on feminine hygiene tips, especially summertime hygiene tips. Make sure that you all check that out below. All right, ladies, let's get right on into today's topic. Ladies, I am going to be sharing the benefits that my husband gets with me being a housewife, okay? I am so excited about this, ladies, because today I'm going to be focusing on this, but you want to make sure that you are subscribed and make sure you hit that notification bell because I am going to be talking about not only the benefits that I'll speak for myself that my husband gets with me being a housewife and a homemaker. I'm going to also in upcoming podcast episodes, I will be sharing personal benefits that I get for myself. I'm going to be sharing benefits that my children get and benefits that just our whole home gets, our whole family gets in general. And I really am excited about this series, especially for those who are looking into becoming or desiring to being a, a homemaker, a housewife, those who really desire this lifestyle, those who may be um, on you know, the fence about it and those who may be homemakers but may not be housewives. And maybe you and your husband are wondering what benefits you all will receive from making that lifestyle change. I would like to help in that area by sharing some of those things here in this podcast. So today we're gonna to be talking about benefits that your husband can get by you being a housewife, okay? And I'm saying this term, housewife, in this podcast specifically for this topic for a reason. I have explained on here why I refer to myself, you know, as a homemaker, but I am also a housewife. But I like to refer to myself as a homemaker because I like to show that biblical aspect. And I realize that there are a lot of people who are housewives, but they are not homemakers. Okay, so there's a difference. So myself, I am both. I am a homemaker and a housewife. But there are some people who are housewives, but they are not homemakers. There are some women who are homemakers, but they are not housewives. They can be a homemaker, but maybe, you know, she works outside of the home and she's not a housewife. So she's not at home. A woman can also be a homemaker and not be married. You can't be a housewife and be unmarried because you're not a wife, you see? So it's very important that I distinguish the uh, differences amongst the terminology that I am using so that you ladies can understand why I will be using both of those words in this podcast, but I may lean towards using the word housewife a little bit more because I want to show you all the emphasis on a wife who stays at home. So that's the only reason why I am doing that. And this is not to down anyone who does not stay at home, who's not able to stay at home right now. That's not that at all. I just want to shine light on the benefits that our husbands can get with us staying at home. Okay, so that's why we're going to be talking about benefits that our husbands get with us being housewives. All right. So number one is prioritizing our families. The fact that we are able to prioritize our families, the fact that we are able to intercede on our family's behalf, the fact that we are afforded the gift of spiritual freedom within our home. Okay, so when you are at home, ladies, you can pray as much, as often as you want to and as you need to. OK, and you can pray aloud. You can pray, you know, within your own you know, spirit. You can pray quietly. You can pray loudly. You can cry and weep. You can do whatever you need to do, however you needed to do it, because you have the freedom to do that inside of your home. If you are outside of your home and let's say you are working a traditional nine to five style job or something like that, or you're working overnight. If you are at work, if you are in the office, if you are, you know, in a meeting or doing whatever, you cannot just break out. Okay, I don't care how spiritual somebody tries to act, right? Like you cannot just break out 
you know, in a praise break in the middle of your conference meeting. You cannot just, you know, say, oh, just wait a minute, hold on, and just start just praying while your boss is just talking. You know, you can't do that because there is an order in the workplace and you have to respect that, you know? And so when you are at home, you are able to do that. If I am washing the dishes, I'm praying. If I'm cooking, I can pray. I can, you know, go and take a shower and go pray. I can be folding laundry and praying. And me and my children are just doing praise and worship. And all of those things, we have the freedom to do so. So you have spiritual freedom at home. That is one of the benefits that my husband gets. Because if he texts me and he's like, babe, I need you to go into prayer about this. He knows that I can immediately Mm. Woo! I can immediately intercede on my husband's behalf. Immediately. My husband gets the benefit of knowing that our family is my number one priority. With me being at home, I am able to fully focus on our family, our family life, our family dynamic, the atmosphere in our home. Because ladies, we are biblical homemakers, right? When your husband is at work, you are able to be there to center your home around Christ. You are able to be that prayer warrior that's there in the home, that's interceding on his behalf while he is at work. You are able to be sensitive in a higher sense to the Holy Spirit because you are readily available, okay? And so that is one of the benefits that our husbands get with us being at home. The fact that we are readily available when they need us. So, sis, if something, you know, were to happen, God forbid, but, you know, if my husband's car, you know, uh, got a flat tire, which recently that did happen, but thankfully uh, we were at home when it happened. But if he were out, you know, somewhere and he got a flat tire and he you know, needed me to pick him up or something like that. I could just put the kids in the car and we could go get him. However, my husband is the type of man that he would absolutely call for an Uber before he would have me come and pick him up. But the fact that I would be able to anyway is already a bonus and a benefit with me being at home. You know, and that is something that is a luxury because I am readily available. Ladies, if your husband needs you to make a phone call, right? Like if he needs you to schedule a doctor's appointment, if he needs you to check in to make sure a payment cleared or whatever it is that he needs you to do, he can trust that you will be able to do that because you have the time to do so. So you're able to do those things. You're able to make phone calls. You know, what if you were not able to make a phone call because you're like, I can't make that phone call because I have meetings all day back to back at the office or I'm going to be, you know, if you're a real estate agent, maybe you're, you know, showing houses all day, whatever it is, you may not have that same flexibility. My husband benefits from me having flexibility. So I'm able to do those things. I'm able to be readily available whenever he needs me. So we are able to relocate easily if need be, because I do not work outside of the home because I'm a housewife. Using myself as an example, we have lived in different states throughout the course of our marriage. And we were able to easily do so because I am a housewife. So ladies, if you were working outside of the home, it may be harder to do so. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but it may be a little bit more difficult because, um, you know, you now have to try to find another place of work or maybe you're not in a position to leave that particular job right now. Um, and, you know, it might not be a remote job. It may not be something that you can, you know, uh, move away from, you know, and that will affect the whole health of your home financially and all of those things. So being a housewife will afford that opportunity to be able to relocate easily if ever need be, or if you desire to, right? You can just easily make that shift. And I find that so freeing, like it it brings so much freedom to us, especially because we are a homeschool family as well. So with me being a housewife and a homeschooling mom, we don't have to pull our children out of school. Um, we're able to have more freedom, right? If my husband says, you know what, baby, 
Um, next week I have the whole, you know, week off. Let's go and let's go on vacation somewhere. I don't have to, oh, I can't, babe, because the kids have, you know, three tests coming up, a science project, and, you know, I have to do this for my boss. I have these scheduled meetings. I have an orientation here. I don't have to give him a list of things of why we can't. We're able to be spontaneous. My husband is able to have that freedom and spontaneity because I am a housewife. Next is he can take more risk. He can take more risk because I'm a housewife. So if he says, you know what, I I think I want to apply for this, you know, job. This is kind of related to what I've said before, but I think I want to apply to this job, you know, in Hawaii, or I want to, you know, do this thing, you know, in Florida or do whatever, whatever he was saying, whatever he desired to do, he can take that risk because he doesn't have to be concerned about, oh, I don't think we're going to be able to do it because... I know your work is here. I know that you love, you know, you love your job, you know, and I don't want to, you know, uproot you from that. Or I know you just started there, so you're not able to transfer or whatever the case may be. My husband, because I am at home, he is able to take more risk. All right. The next thing is less stress. Okay. My husband is able to have less stress in his life because I am at home, because he knows that I am safe. I don't have to be concerned about a lot of other things that he may be concerned about if I were not at home. Let's say I'm working outside of the home. Maybe I might be working a job that, you know, is very high risk. You know, I could be in the medical field. And, you know, when that whole situation, you know, happened, ladies, 2020, um, you know, I know a lot of people were very concerned, you know, who had spouses who maybe worked in hospitals, you know, fear for them, you know, getting ill, um, getting exposed to different things, you know, all of those things like that. Or maybe you are like a police officer or something like that, something that, you know, is going to make your spouse be way more concerned, like they could be stressed because of that because they're literally like oh my goodness i'm constantly thinking about is my wife okay i'm constantly thinking about is she safe i'm constantly you know and that's just a heavy burden on their mind on their heart because i am at home that lessens the stressful load on my husband knowing that i am safe i am secure you know um he knows that the kids are good our children are homeschooled so he knows that they are well taken care of he knows that if any emergencies or issues arise that you know i will be able to contact him he'll know about it you know that we're all good we're all safe and well taken care of even if you are not a homeschooling family it is still a benefit even if your children are in public school or any type of school that is outside of your home it will still be a benefit because you are able to focus on your family if your children are in school outside of the home or can still be there for those children at a higher level than you would be if you were working outside of the home also my husband is able to benefit from getting nutritious and delicious meals every single day. I am able to cook for my husband and able to cook good food for my husband. I am able to make sure that he has a balanced diet. I am able to pack his lunch. I am able to make him breakfast. I am able to have a nice hot meal ready when he comes home. All of these things are benefits to my man, okay? These are benefits to him. These add value to his life it helps it helps give him a greater life expectancy okay ladies we are in charge of that we have the time to do that the time to allocate you know making sure that we get the proper groceries making sure that you know food is available we can try out new recipes and different things I'm able to experiment on those things and able to make sure that food is ready for him. So he doesn't ever have to wonder like, okay, I'm getting off early today, but oh man, my wife is, is still at work. She doesn't get off till 11 o'clock at night. So he doesn't have to stop at a fast food place to pick up something to eat because I'm going to be working late all through the night and I'm not going to have time to make sure that he has, you know, a meal. So that is a benefit that he will have nutritious and delicious food every single day. All right. The next thing is 
a more peaceful home because I am home. My husband is able to experience more peace. How, you may say? Well, number one, I am not bringing the stress of my job outside of the home, inside of the home. So ladies, we are able to give our husbands that peace of mind. We are able to create a peaceful atmosphere. You know, we have to be mindful with how we handle things in the home because being at home or being a housewife is still a full-time occupation, right? We have a occupation here. We have responsibility here. We have things that we have to do and get done so that our homes can run smoothly and effectively. However, we do not have to carry the burden of working outside of our home and, and having that extra stress on us and being more stressed about other things other than what's going on inside of our home. So we already have a lot to consider with what goes on inside. So with me being at home, my husband knows that this is my priority. My main thing that my focus is on is how our home is operating. It's on him, our kids, our home, what the family dynamic and family life looks like. Not that and trying to think about these deadlines I have for this particular you know, thing or getting to work on time or am I going to oversleep because, you know, I stayed up late and I have to make it to the office by this particular time. I don't have to take on those stresses of working outside of the home. So he gets in turn a more peaceful home. I'm able to be here. I am able to cultivate habits here that glorify God. I am able to set the atmosphere here. I'm able to make it smell good. I'm able to freshen it up before he gets home. I'm able to do whatever is needed and necessary to make our home a more safe and peaceful environment for him. All right, the next thing is a better sex life, okay? Yes, I said it. And yes, <laughs> I'm putting it on the list because it is true. When you have extra stress and you're carrying like an extra load, extra cares from the world, you know, from the outside world, when your time is way more limited, when you are being stretched, you know, a lot like wider, more thin, then more time constraints, your schedules are more conflicting, you have less flexibility, you're likely to be more drained, more exhausted, all of those different things, which are going to lead you to more excuses about why you all are not spending that quality time together. So with being a housewife, dun, 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 okay. Like I said earlier, but in a different context, I am readily available, okay? <laughs> Let's worship together. Come, let us worship the Lord, okay, in the beauty of this sacred marital holiness, okay? Y'all feel me, okay, ladies? So you are able to have a better sex life, to have better intimacy, more intimacy, like I said, with all of the other things, because you have that less stress, because you're more readily available, because you have more flexibility, you're able to prioritize, all of those things are going to go hand in hand. And that is essential. Does that mean that all housewives are flourishing and thriving in the area? No, it doesn't, because I know that's not everybody's case. So I will probably make another podcast episode trying to help you ladies out <laughs> on that to make sure that you are thriving and flourishing in that area because it is very important within a marriage. And I don't like when people don't talk about that or don't discuss that or don't, you know, emphasize the importance of that and feel like that is just optional in a marriage. Like, oh, it's not really that important. Like, yes, it is, sis. It's very important. And I can attest that if a husband is listening to this right now, he is probably like thumbs up in this video. Like, yes, it is important. Thanks, sis. So, all right. <laughs> that is that. And like I said, if you all want me to touch on this too a little bit more in another podcast, we can dedicate a whole podcast episode to this. Okay. So I got you, sis. I got you. <laughs> all right, ladies. Last but certainly not least. And this is something that a lot of people may be surprised about, okay, because people usually speak the opposite, is less financial burden. Yes, my husband has less of a financial burden because I am at home. Now, 
I know that is contrary to what society teaches. Society says if you have a wife that's at home, that is an absolute burden. Um, she is bringing down the family. She's burning your pockets, you know, all of these different things. A lot of people even will say it's not even possible. Like, okay, it's not possible. And yes, we are dealing with inflation. Okay. The rise of the economy, like everybody, I think feels it at this point, at least to some degree, it may not be all, you know, the same, like levels or the same degree in every household, but we all feel it, right? I think we can all attest to that. However, it doesn't mean that it's impossible to stay home. I am a living witness that it's not. And a lot of you ladies are a living witness that it is not as well. And so my husband has less of a financial burden. Somebody may say, well, how is that so? Okay, so I'll give a couple examples. Number one, a lot of the expenses that we would be using for me to go to work outside of our home, we do not have to utilize because I am at home. So some of those expenses would be gas because I would be having to commute to work as well. That would be double the amount of gas money. We would be putting more miles on our vehicles. So we do have two vehicles. My husband does have a vehicle that he drives every day to work. And then I have our family van that is at home with me while I'm here with the kids and that we use for family outings and vacations and things like that. We are able to not put as much mileage on that van because my husband used his vehicle to get him to and from work. So if I were to be working outside of the home, then we would need to be utilizing both of those vehicles, um, which in turn, like I said, would be more gas, would be more miles. So we would have to get more work done to that vehicle as well. So now we would have two vehicles that we would need to be getting work done to on a more consistent basis. So you have to take into account all the things that go into a car, not just your oil change and making sure your brakes are right, you know, your transmission, your tires, um, just all of that manly stuff. Okay. My husband takes care of that. <laughs> so thankfully I don't have to be concerned about that whenever the cars, you know, um, need work or they need to be, you know, inspected or whatever tuned up, whatever they need to have done. My husband takes care of that. So I don't know all the lingo, you know, with that, but that, yeah, that, <laughs> so that is an expense we don't have to be concerned about. Our clothing expenses are decreased drastically so like i said because i'm a homeschooling mom this applies to myself and our children because my children do not go to public school or private school or anything like that because they are homeschooled we don't have to buy as many clothes we don't have to buy as many shoes when we are at home we don't wear shoes inside so um, that cuts down drastically we only have one shoes when we're outside so i'm not having to be concerned about buying a bunch of shoes for my kids, buying a bunch of clothes or a bunch of uniforms. We don't have to do that at all. So that cuts down on a lot of things. Even with me, I don't have to keep buying a bunch of clothes for work or uh, you know a bunch of different shoes or things like that. So that cuts down on that. The clothing costs cuts down drastically. Also food. Now, yes, I will say, especially as a large family, you know, we, we spend... We spend money when it comes to the groceries, you know, we spend money. Um, however, I feel like it's more balanced there because I am able to cook at home. I'm able to teach my children how to cook. We're able to cook from scratch. We're able to make homemade meals and things like that. So we don't have to spend as much money on like, let's say processed stuff. I know some people may buy a lot more processed foods because they don't have the time because they're not at home. So they may feel like, Oh, well, I don't have time, so I'm just going to, you know, go to, you know, whatever wholesale club and just purchase, you know, only, you know, because we still we still buy some, you know, pre-made snacks, too. I'm not knocking pre-made things, but I'm saying someone else may feel like they have less options because they have less time because they're not at home. So in turn, they're spending so much more money on processed food because they don't have the time, you know, to a lot 
to baking all day or to cooking and cooking with their kids because they're not at home. So that cuts down on those costs, that cuts down on husband having to, you know, buy food every day on his lunch break he is able to take food from home so that cuts down on that cost tremendously as well also there are other things that we have done as well like cloth diapering which saves a lot of money breastfeeding which saves a lot of money because we do not have to purchase um formula i don't have to be concerned about being outside of our home and having to pump and trying to find out where i can store milk and all those different things my baby can just drink from the tap as i like to call it he can have his chocolate milk straight from the tap <laughs> okay so we are able to save money that way also do not have to pay for daycare um any type of private schools any type of tuition anything like that we do not have to pay for because i'm at home and our children are at home with me so those thousands of dollars that we would be forking out for daycare and school and all of those different things we do not have to do that so we save a lot and we have five children so i can't even imagine okay the amount of money that would be leaving our house you know to take care of our kids we're able to save a whole lot of money that way and also because god has given us ladies the gift of multiplication okay we know how to take something and multiply it we know how to expand what we have i am able to be creative i'm able to use my creativity to make my home flourish to make our finances stretch further you know you can give a woman something and baby she <laughs> mm, she is going to get creative and make that thing immaculate okay like we're able to do that i love for instance thinking about ingredients right like my husband it's because he works hard that we are able to purchase ingredients right so let's say okay my husband works hard to earn the money to purchase these ingredients to purchase the flour and the butter and the sugar and the eggs and the almond milk, right? And I am able to take those ingredients that are just ingredients by themselves, right? And I'm able to take that and use my hands. Mm. Ooh, God will bless the work of your hands, woman of God. And able to use my hands, able to use my mind. Okay, let me get a little bit of vanilla extract and let me add some of this in here let me add a little splash of almond milk and let me maybe do this you know and put some pecans in here and glaze the pan this way let me do this take these ingredients so i can make a cake for my family or i can make cookies for my family you know or brownies or whatever it is You're able to take those ingredients and use that creativity and use those blessed hands and you're able to make something that's going to stretch further you're going to make something that's going to provide nutrients for your family and nutrition and satisfaction and joy and smiles you know and all of those things that then aid into you know quality time and you know all of those you're able to do that and so we can multiply that thing so my husband is able to have less financial burden because he has a wife who knows how to be creative. He has a wife who knows how to take something and multiply it to make it greater, okay? He has a wife that gives him favor. He who finds a wife finds a good thing, ladies, okay? And obtains favor from the Lord. So be his favor, be his favor. You being a housewife, sis, is an asset to your man when you know how to do it right, okay? It's an asset. If you are a nagging, contentious, bitter, quarrelsome wife, then absolutely not. You know, no one wants, you know, to come home <laughs> to that. You know, that's not a housewife who's an asset to her husband. But when you are a help meet, when you are a peacemaker, when you are a multiplier, when you, you know, provide that nourishment, when you um, are able to be a woman 
that your husband can trust in, that he can have confidence in, when you are a great and excellent wife, when you are a great and excellent mother, when you are able to prioritize your home in ways that glorify God, that honor your family, you are an asset, okay? That's a true Proverbs 31 woman right there. You are an asset to your family. Since I am speaking on being less of a financial burden, ladies, just because you are at home doesn't mean that you still can't be an asset to your household financially. You're able to bring less financial burden because you, you are able to still cut expenses with you being at home and you can still add income. You can still absolutely do that and be at home. So this is not a channel that is shaming any woman for working outside of their home because I know there are some women who that is what has to be done in this particular season for their family. Everybody has their different set of circumstances, their different situations, lifestyles. You will never know the ins and outs of each family's, you know, lifestyle. You know, that's their particular business. You don't know what people are going through. Okay. So I'm not here to make judgments about anybody or about what, you know, people have to do in certain things you may have to do in a season, but that season may not last always. You know, somebody's husband could have had an accident at work and he may not be able to physically work for six months because he may be healing an injury on his body. And maybe you have to work outside of the home during that time to help supplement his income or, you know, whatever the case may be. I know that each home is a case by case basis. You know, each family is different. So I just pray for those, you know, households, those families who really desire for the wife to be a housewife, for her to be at home. I pray that God will make a way for that to be possible. I pray that he will meet the provision for that need. Remember that he is a way maker. He is a provider. Keep praying about that. Okay. And just keep doing the best that you can do. Keep educating yourself, learning how to you know, um, get creative, use your creativity to be able to maybe produce some income without having to leave your home. I do want you ladies to know that I do have some valuable information concerning this in my Blossoming in Biblical Femininity e-guide, where I talk about the virtues of a godly feminine woman. And I have a section on there that talks about the Proverbs 31 woman being industrious. And I share my personal story. I share the highs and the lows. And I also have questions that you can ask yourself to see what is a right fit, to see if, you know, me doing this particular thing this way is a benefit to my family or is it something that is going to hurt my family? You know, um, so I have a lot of tips in that e-guide for you. I have a lot of valuable information and knowledge that I really feel would be beneficial to you. So make sure that you grab yourself a copy on my website, habitsofahomemaker.com. All of my e-guides are on sale and I believe that they will greatly bless you ladies. I love you all so much. Thank you all for tuning in and leave a comment down below and let me know some of the benefits that your husband gets or you feel that all husbands can get with us staying at home and being housewives. I will add this, okay, this is a bonus tip. I feel like, this is just my personal opinion, I feel like it's a great sense of accomplishment for a husband to be able to know, like, I got my wife, you know, like my wife is able to stay at home, whether you all have children or not. I just feel like that is just a special um a, just a special thing, you know, to, to hold close. But thank you ladies so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a sunflower emoji. Let me know you are here. Please, please, please share this podcast with another sister. Share it on your social media. Let's get our community growing so we can get these conversations growing so we can share this godly wisdom and we can just help lift each other up as we grow as homemakers and we grow in the Lord. I love you ladies so much 
much. Thanks for listening. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Love you, ladies. Bye.